Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Create Arcane Engineering, brought to you by our wonderful server hosting sponsors who host all that you see here before us. Apex Hosting. If you're interested in grabbing a Minecraft server or even a Power World server at a discount of 25% off your first month to give them a try, check our links in the description of the stream of the YouTube video and use our codes, and you can do just that. So thanks to them for sponsoring, and how's it going? Hello. Hello. So, uh, anything new? I have seen you on solo since last time. Uh, there's. I see another big here. farm over here. That's that's all. Wait. Um, I, I That's like I the same stuff as the other one, isn't it? I want no. I no, 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 no. new farms. I wanted uh more diamonds. So this oh is this is an entire uh, source generation uh, and then diamond uh, generation. Uh, oh my god. So He's we've really got four point six thousand diamonds now. He's really gonna die. He's gonna do the whole thing. You did this with he, the, he did the whole thing. agronomic. Oh. Yeah, although I'm out of time crystals. I don't know if we're out of time crystals, but I appear to, we appears to be out of time crystals. I'm uh, I check. mean, there's some in the Nether that you can grab. If, I mean, if, if, if we're want. if we're out of them, we're out of them, right? I but I mean, that's actually. We, I mean, do we I, run? We might have run down the time in a bottles actually. Uh, I plan on I plan on generating more, but time yeah, the this bottles is, are gone. That's the bottleneck. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, are we? So oh God, we've got four point six thousand, so we can probably turn this one off. Um, so we have gold there. Um, we just need more diamonds for a bit. Seen? Are you mentally okay? I feel like this whole project that you've done could drive uh, any man insane. Are you okay? How? How so? It's pretty straightforward. Oh. Uh. I mean, I I've guess got so. the tree. I've got the tree farm to to power the steam thing. I've got the mage bloom. I've got the source. I then smash that together into the smoothie. The smoothie then gets poured into the bowl. The bowl gets uh, drained into the impure. The impure. The the leaves get chopped into the 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 thread. The thread gets turned into the parchment. The parchment gets mixed in with the impure. That gets turned into source. That's there. Then you just have the time crystal drop on it, which you guys pro uh, kindly handle, so I don't do any of that. And then I send off the ten casting things, create diamonds, and off we go. What's the problem? Most importantly, all within one chunk. I mean, it's just it's it it saves on the loading, right? It adds a challenge. Uh, I the the challenge was that I made this fourteen by fourteen, so there was no way to make the farms be even and asymmetrical. So that's just irritating on, from every visual angle you can possibly imagine. Mm. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how, but uh, what took place was merely that our dark stone stopped being generated somehow. I don't, I don't know how that took place. It's not what I expected, but here we are. Uh, it is now fixed, and now the time in a bottle production shall resume. That's all that was needed, was just the dark sun. Everything else is just good. It seems like it. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, weird. Not entirely expected, but... Whoa, oh, wait, hold... Oh. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, I'm just sorry. We're uh, we're just out of uh, Oriole. Well, you know the Oriole essence generation is is. Uh, we used to have a big tank, and now now we don't. That's now we don't. Kind of crazy to me. I guess we just went. We brought. We yeah, drew it down. <laughs> Did you expect to never run out? Kind of, but I guess that was wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, if it ain't infinite, it's. Not infinite. It's I guess. infinite. I it's infinite. There you well, go. Well, there goes our. I mean, it, yeah, mathematically, it 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 wouldn't have ever been infinite. But I was kind of just hoping it would be. You know. <laughs> but why can't it be? Can we make it infinite? No, the math doesn't work that way, and it's it's sad. It's very sad, actually. We can yeah. reinvent the wheel. I uh, reinvent, you know, relativity and stuff like that or something. I don't know. But anyway. Better start today. It's, it's, a, it's a good shout. It's a good shout. So, um, okay, cool. Well, anyway, yeah, slowly but surely they'll start uh, ticking up again, and then we'll be able to make waystones too, because now we can't really make new waystones. Oops. I, uh, I mean, we do have the ways to make the portals with ours, and then, uh, yeah, I did with yours? more... With ours, yours, oh, okay. mine, yeah. Um, with the uh, and then we did have the warp shards. I found more of those, so we've 
I've been putting those in as I found them. Yeah, you got to mix it with a time in a bottle. That's how you make the the thing. And so right. Was, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. One one part of it is there, gotcha. uh, and then I need to check my drill chunk for silver. That was kind of hard to find, um, but we did eventually locate silver, so that's good. So at the end of uh, last episode, you're kind of you're kind of telling us some things that we could do to make your life easier. Do you mind um, re-bringing us in on, I think one of them was the, was it taking like the conundrums and generating those? Uh, I had said in the, um, with chapter four, there was like, I, I was just saying that there's things to fill in on chapter four going with like the the dies and the, on, on the far left and on the far right um, while we try and get the uh, PCB stuff all built down. But I don't know how much that's going to be involving of you guys or, uh, you know, whether that's something you want to work on. So it's like I don't. I don't have something that's like, oh, please just do this. I don't want to. Um, it's more just like, I, if you want me to work on the uh, zipper section, then you guys can grab one of the other sections. If you want to do those, then or that, then I can look into something else. Well, what uh, what is? I mean, I'm. What would be best for you? Have you odd? I see check marks on like some of the conundrum stuff and some of the dies on the. Left yeah, and right. I mean that's just that's just as doing stuff. I haven't I haven't approached any of those or okay. done anything with them. Got that's it. That's just uh, uh, where you know, like as as we pick things up and put them down, that's happened. Um, so it's really whatever skidoodles on those. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, I don't know that. I I have a. I, 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 I'm not prepared for a job supervisor situation where I'm like, I here you go do this, you go to this, you know, like it's just a pile of stuff and grab a spot and say, I mean, I'm doing this. I'm gonna run around and hit a wall again if you don't supervise me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I mean, I'm down to do. So is the ultimate objective just to get light blue dye and it's basically showing you, hey, here's a bunch of options how to do that? Yeah, and we definitely have light blue dye now. So really, oh, I mean, I, okay. uh, that section is literally just taking off the the pieces. Oh yeah, we've know? got like, light blue dye. Just, okay, so we're just we're the good there. Achievement. Um, yeah. green dye. On the other hand, is that? I don't. I, I okay. Haven't worked I can. With I'll work dye. on green dye. That sounds like a good. Sounds, oh my god, sounds like a good one. Cactus farm. Okay, um, let's see. How do I, make I don't actually need to go farm? full cactus farm. We could use this so-called crystallizer to do cool things, oh, you know? Could do yeah, that. I'm going to check I into... Ooh, wow. Yeah, let's do something new and fancy. How about it? Do it. It's It'll be great. great. All right. Have you... Um. Oh, wow. There's five crystallizers already here. That is sick. Yeah, I was going to... Use those to make uh, the amethyst shards, but didn't end up needing them, so go for it. I can knock myself out? Or go for it, or knock yourself out. However you prefer. Cool. Yes, <laughs> uh, do we need any other colors? Um... I don't... It, it says white, but the white's just to create the light blue, and we've already got the light blue, so... Yeah. I don't. I don't think that's really a critical thing. Um... I mean, really, it's like I we're we're at the I just the zigzag thing, and so it's I, I have a hard time saying here's where we can all jump in and work on this. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's it feels very linear at the moment, and so it's that that's where that's wherein my confusion lies. Or at I least mean, you know what we difficulty. have been kind of ignoring. What, what have, have we been, been kind of ignoring? The uh, Netherrack chapter. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I oh, do. Do you want to... slabs? They're not going to get automated on their own. It's true. I I I see plenty of of opportunity here. I think I think we get some ancient plating slabs in production, and then after that we can rewrite the laws of physics or whatever it was. 
that we need to do. Who who stole? You cannot change the laws of physics. Who stole the press? Hmm? Someone someone stole our long running mechanical press. It's been oh, thieved. It's been thieveried. Okay, it's back in play now. Hmm. There we go. It's very, it is very interesting. Our, that, that that had some history. That was one of the first things we ever set up here. I can't believe someone would really do was. this. Bud's back now. I'm, I'm actually really happy about that. I was, I was having a moment of silence and it was bothering me. Alrighty. Hey Pete, you ever see any green uh, conundrum? Just in my day to day, I don't think I have. Are mm. you on the look for some? Yeah, that could be that could be a thing that we could do. Just head into the mines, see if we can find All some right. green conundrum. Or Holy you know, mate. in the time that we find it, maybe maybe <laughs> you could have just set up a cactus farm. That's also a possibility. Yeah, but is that fancy though? Also, it's being kind of like nabbing your job from under your feet. It's you do using, have a little bit of cactus right there. It's using old tech instead of cool new tech. Speaking of old tech, I went and checked in the uh, like the Skystone production thing. It was like very dead. I it spent it took me twenty minutes to get it going again. Really? I don't know what happened out here? But it was oh, very man. dead. You know, he still had like five hundred thousand. So it yeah, so it did. That's think, why it wasn't really that big of a deal. I, I don't. Yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't concerned. I was just Pete. Dude, I was going two miles an hour. That is actually insane. <laughs> what? Hey, okay. You good? No, I'm not. You should have seen my screen. I was like almost stopped midair. There was anyway. a little bit of lag that just took place simultaneously, so it might have caught you off guard. Uh, oh, my doorbell's ringing. That's my copium shipment. Fantastic. Would be funny if your doorbell was actually. Oh, wait, you said caught me off guard. Wait, you were still blaming me. Okay, never mind. What the? Um. So anyway, can we actually? Can you Fido cactus? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Be able to. Oh, you know that might even be. Wait, is that green conundrum? No. Hmm. Hmm. Could take a while. You want to Fido grow then? Maybe, possibly. Let me just... I'll go take a quick look at Sparktropolis, which has been a little neglected anyway, and uh, just see if maybe there's some green to go with the red or pink or whatever it is that I got earlier. God dang it. Freaking climb the ladder! Oh, Jesus. But, Plastic you know, if we have a phytogenic. Blue stamps and copper. We do have a lot of copper. Speaking of a lot of copper, we don't have that much copper, but we do have, I mean, a fair bit. Um, but copper, iron, and gold, I redid I so that they, they stay in compacting. So now in the main system, you don't have to worry about grabbing one or the other. It's pretty cool. I was I was over that little gum. Okay, come on. Any greens? Any greens? Any greens? There are no greens. What the frick? Imagine. Imagine all the people looking Not being green. for the green. Pete, I just crashed into a leaf, and I didn't die. I'm glad. Let's see. Oh, Viridium. Yes, yes, you can, Fido, the cactus. Cool. Um, Pete, did you already make a Fido? No, I was still okay. searching for the... For if you it. find it, you know, feel free. You're, you're totally, totally good, dude, but... Um, okay. We just both end up making a cactus farm. 
Well, or different. no, you do the crystallizer and I do the Fido, and then all of a sudden we just have like double, double green production. dye production, which would be pretty epic. Oh, okay, Zine, so uh, double dye. where yes, is this uh, supposed to end up? Where are you working on the things? Uh, as long as it's in can tie into the ID network, it can be. Yin. Oh, okay, cool. I will do uh, that because I just do the item exports onto these production lines, and I do the manufacturing kind of spread out. I'm trying to. I mean, obviously, like I said, it needs to still be connected to ID, but I'm trying to spread stuff out so that we don't massively hit frames in any one spot, which we've discovered is a thing. Hmm. I agree that we have discovered that. I'm glad you agree. I agree so hard. Oh, why are you not? Oh, we've run out of integrated dynamics mechanisms. Oh, found several in there. Wait. You wait. find green conundrum? Mm, not yet. I found. How many different colors is like common to spawn in one generation? Because I'm looking usually at usually two. I'm looking at black, blue, pink, and yellow all in front of me. None of them green, Ooh. though. Yeah, none of those sound like green. It looks really cool. It's a really cool spot. Yeah. Can't be here anymore. That makes me sad. Yeah, I've seen some pretty cool terrain generation as I've flown around. I had to go. It took me way too long to find... Um, a blue orchid. Uh, it just for the light blue stuff. Like, that was mm. way more work than it really should have been. But that does seem like it was the easiest way to do it. Don't have to do all those extra steps. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was just some, some flying around, so. Okay. Who doesn't like flying? Honestly. Any, like, survey of what would be your superpower of choice? Who wouldn't choose flying? Come on. Me if I turn into a bird. Are you wanting to turn into a bird? You know... I don't know. What's the lifespan of a... Uh, they live all... Well, it depends on what kind, bird. but there are some birds that live a long time. Yeah, There's that's a lot what I'm of thinking, that don't right? Long. <laughs> Do you want to be a parrot? You could live to, like, 80 or 90. I would need the guarantee I would have a good owner. <laughs> well, you could be a wild parrot. parrot that also well, lives I could be a wild long. parrot, too. Mm -hmm. He's a but wild man. Wild, I'd have to make an effort to... To eat? <laughs> Do you think... I don't know. Do you think that any wild animals go, Ugh. God dang it. I gotta go hunt right now. Ugh. Yeah, no, this is directed at someone. <laughs> no, I, it's not. I'm, I'm curious. Like, do they ever feel I, that, bro? I mean, do you think anyone, any wild animal, ever thinks that? <laughs> Absolutely. I've seen, I've seen my dogs like have to get up to go pee and just stretch. My, uh, crap. Like you, you know, like you. Absolutely, they uh, are reluctant. You're like I was comfortable, and now I got to go do this, and that sucks. For sure. But also, I think there's wild like the. Also hit that age where they like turn twenty or around there, or in their years, and they start groaning whenever they move. Wait, yeah. tw the equivalent of human age of twenty? You're saying like twenty? That's actually. That's what happened to me. I don't know what happens to most people. <laughs> Are you like, okay, man? <laughs> no, it's just around the. You know, like you get a, you hit an age where all of a sudden, like when you go to sit down on a chair, you do a little like. Ugh. Oh, yeah. And you're like, yep. oh god, this started mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. yep. From that depends, point onward, it depends just, on uh, my energy level. Oh, what you got like a good balance of vitamin B and iron in your system, or something? Ah, uh, you've seen I don't know. you've seen the videos. You know he's a shining specimen of. Oh my god, we can't compare to this. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that's great. Is Orin gonna spare vitamins to show? Uh... Sure, come on over. Right. Yeah, but like there's there's a some there's some amount of knowledge of thinking uh you know 
if I wait longer, I'm gonna be hungrier and weaker, and therefore, like, I have to do this now. There, if they actually have the ability to feel like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, then there has to be this, like, cost-benefit analysis going on. Like, you think they do that? Isn't the cost-benefit analysis kind of hardwired because it's, like, always a, if I don't do this, I'll die? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How did flying either. like birds turn into this? Because it's an interesting question to think about. We're conversating. Sorry, we should be it. progressing naturally in the conversation. Back yeah. to bird flying. Pay more attention to Minecraft, guys, and a little less discussion of flights of fancy. Yeah. Flat fancy flights. That's what that's what parrots are. They're fancy flights. Indeed. Um. Yeah, that'll kind of work. So here's a question: Do what animals actually enjoy hunting, though? Because like they all do it for survivability, right? But I wonder which ones actually really enjoy like the thrill of the chase and get excitement out of it. If that's an emotion that they can even feel. Yeah, I don't know if there is any emotioning happening. Like, do you think if I got like I don't know mauled by a bear or something that he'd at least be happy about it? Well, there's only a few animals that kill purely for sport, right? Dolphins. Um, so I, I would yeah. assume that that would have to be limited to those. Um, yeah. Okay, can I pull her out of you? I wonder. Oh, I gotta bring water over here. Ah, frick me up. No, we'll do this elsewhere. I mean, the two by two of water ain't too difficult to make. Yeah, but I already have it and it's, I can, oh wait, hold on, but I have to do direct contact with the thing. That'll be easy enough, yeah. Uh, power of brain rot. Stuck in a cave, and I just went to my escape menu to try and click respawn to go back home. You enjoying that power world, huh? 165 hours so far. Oh my god. What level are you? 47. Jesus Christ. It's good. I like it. Isn't the max level like 50 or something? Mm hmm. That's impressive. That's impressive, yeah. What level are you? 28, maybe, I think? I don't know. Respectable. <laughs> Just checking. I can't input on the front. I can't input into your face. God dang it. Uh-oh. It's grass nicely is. enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We got cactus dye about to go the room. So you want it to be in the main ID system? Uh, probably. I mean, ultimately, oh, what? What, what, what would be useful is the masking fluid in the main ID system. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. How do I put masking fluid in the ID system? With the fluid in the uh, interface? Oh. You can see that there, it's already done if you click on the fluid storage up in the ID interface. Oh, okay. Masking fluid is 
simply liquid green. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to get anthroquinine. We have uh, that. We just need to put it on the network. I see. Okay. What is anthroquinine? Wait, Any? why is this? It's, it's I don't a, know what it is. Something from Zine's prior. It's part of the one chunk factory. Uh, you use it to make the uh, huh. chromatic stuff. Well, how do you? What? How do I? There's no item called green PCB dye. What? Is it just bucket of green dye? Oh, there it is. Liquid okay. Green yeah, dye, I was green looking dye. at the bucket and I was very confused. Okay, got it. Water, green dye, and anthra quickening. Okay, I shall accomplish this. Or at least attempt to. Feel free to call me off on exploring for uh, green conundrum at any time. Oh, you you do not need to do green conundrum. In fact, okay. um, what you could do is if Zine points you to the anthroquinine, uh, wire it into the system, I guess. I'll have that wired in 10 seconds, hmm. so maybe 30. Okay, that's cool. Um, then, Pete, I don't know, Zine's going to have to direct you into the other thing, I guess. What's right. this other thing, Zim? The, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the anthroquinone, whatever the, that <laughs> stuff, it should be in the network. Okay. Is your, uh, like, kitchen cleaning or something that is in? your house dirty? I need a hug. <laughs> Be a hug, brother. Yeah. The, uh, anthroquinone is, uh, in the system now. Is it an item or is it a fluid so it's a fluid i see biodiesel plastic refined fuel molten diamond lava and gold mm, i see it in two different i see locations. it now it was i had to restart the window Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Everything is so A-OK -okay and ready to go now. Um, I don't know where to put you into this, Pete. Do you want to work on the netherrack stuff? Or, like, I just uh, don't... Well, I'm looking at, do you need a molten nickel producing? Or do we have it already? Possibly. Where would I be using molten nickel? It's one of the things down underneath the uh, masking fluid for uh, Enig surface treatment. Oh, Probably yeah. PCB? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, you can set up, there's actually a room that's set up for that if you want to find um, that and just get it wired. It shouldn't be too terribly tough, but um, the bottom floor of my one chunk factory should have molten diamond and molten gold, so you should be able to add the nickel to that as well. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I can I not access my back? Oh, there it is. It did not want to access for a moment. Sorry, oh. I loaded two new chunks. Dude, I actually, like, I keep trying to put these cactus into the system and doesn't want it. Finally, it went. Did it go? Thank goodness. Okay, so what I can do here, actually, is just... Let's wire out a little bit of, um... Let's see, what do we got? Not at all. What have we got? I'm trying to think. So if we shoot it out of there, then all I would need to do is... Is this going the right direction? Nope, because it's not even the correct gearbox. It's going the right direction? Yeah, it's going the right direction. That's what you love to see. 
So we can take this out and we just conveyor beltify it over to here. That'll be great. And then we are going to just start schmelterinoing it as per usual. God, I forgot how many floors your one chunk factory has. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just impressive. Dude, it's so impressive. Sigmire, thank you for the double sub gift. Very generous, very appreciated. All right, so we can basically just do the same thing there. Balls. Just do the same thing here. And then surround it up with that. The lava goes there. And we got a fan on the frick. Fan on the back. You'd think I'd just be like so much faster at this the longer we do it, but somehow I am still a slow man's. Um, all right, what is the best way to wire up into here? Um, we do encased chain drive, perhaps? You know, we may be able to here. Let's hope it goes in the right direction. <gasps> oh, that's balls. Wait, how do you do this again? So it like connects, does that, and then, oh no. Wait, that doesn't, it doesn't do into the, and then, ah, oh, balls. That's not frick. Why don't you do better things? Why don't you do better than, than what you've just done? Because otherwise I need to, like, triple gearbox it, and I don't like, I could triple cog it and make Papa proud. You ready? Are you ready? It's a sucker. It's a sucker. God dang it. It's a sucker. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We diagonal belt it, and then we do it that way. Easy peasy. Okay. And... It, wait. It's a sucker? How are you a sucker? What? Hold on. I'm, oh, because it's the same direct... Oh, my God. Oh, that's unbelievable, dude. I need to do... Oh, my... God. Oh my God. I can't believe you've done this to me. I'm about to do this in the best way that anyone has ever done. Oh yeah, 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 big cog, small cog. Duh, there's always a way. There's always a way. Um, How fast do we want this thing going? I guess we don't need it super fast. So we'll do dig here. Small here, and then we will be good. Okay, that's a blower. Big plays. Now we need some lava, and we also need a... Okay, so what are we going to be holding in that thing? It's going to be green dot. Have we lava? Yes, we do. Two chain drives and a gearbox? Nah, dude, nah, we're good. We're good over here. So let's take this. Well, look, we've already got a decent amount. Ah, balls. Actually, this is fine. Then we wait for it to turn. Come on, come on. That does make green die, right? That you can make green die this way. Oh, okay. That Okay, it doesn't make green die. Good. Good. I was very concerned there for a moment that I just messed the whole thing up. That there was somehow that was not gonna work. Alright, so we got the green die, and then that has to combine with the other stuff, one of which I have to pull out of the ID system, so we've got to bring the ID system over here, which is an inconvenient direction to have to go with the whole god dang thing. Um, okay, so, hold on. Green. Die. 
Okay, there's that, and then we need the water. Okay, so another blaze burner. I like how Moobot's rules include, you must laugh at all my jokes. That is a hard and fast rule, guys. You can't not laugh. It's illegal, actually. Illegal. Okay, so... Blaze... Burner. How do you do this again? I always forget. What is crafting? Oh, yes, you can do that. That is awesome. Do we have Blaze Burner? Why do we not have Burner? Why, why can't I... I'm s oh, God. What are you... Grid? This is a crafting grid. Oh my god, what is wrong with this thing? What is going on? Help. Help. What is happening? Item crafting. Oh, I was in the wrong... Ah! Where's grid size? The tiniest grid in the world. Ah! Sometimes ID does weird things. There we go. Shh. Ah! Stop! What is happening? I don't know what's happening. Are things fricked right now? For anybody? For they, they seem to be working for me, question mark. I cannot interact with... Okay, uh, sorry. Integrated Dynamics just doing really... Being wonky. It's being wonky. Sorry about the wonk. Just is being non-responsive, but now we are good. Thank goodness. Was worth the storage being a bit funky with me too. I couldn't craft something in there. Okay, yeah, that's what was happening to me. It was like wasn't clearing items in the crafting grid. It was being all weird. Yeah, I tried to make a medium tank, and it was like, nope, gotta do that somewhere else. I'm so tired. medium tanks won't or are, are buggy. Medium fluid tanks. Um, I have to build those with craft tables nine times out of ten. Sometimes yep. they'll work, but normally not. Hmm. Um, so that's just a that that specifically is a medium tank thing. Great. <laughs> and uh, the rest, I've run into problems when it's been full, but other than that, I do not know. I don't. Okay, so let's say, if I were to do that there, is there even a world in which I could put, oh, I don't think I can put them, like, can I, oh, wait, 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 oh, this is actually, More this might be, now, one thing that kind of I do. do with my integrated dynamic stuff, which is pretty handy and nice, um, is you can, with any exporter or interface you set up, you can right click on it, and in the top right, there's an abacus looking item, sometimes it's just on the main screen, but it'll say, uh, ticks per operation. That means that it's running uh, every single tick. It's checking that, and the vast majority of things we do don't need to be tick perfect. And so I tend to slow them down. I put in prime numbers 11. I mean, if you think about it, changing that to like 11 will make that run 11 times less intensely than uh, leaving it at one, and you have half a second delay at that point instead of one twentieth of a second delay. Like it's we're never going to notice it's fine and it can save you um some happiness there gotcha so i've been i've been slowing everything down oh yeah this that's okay cool. system just has nothing in it okay so this should be the blue pcb or the pcb blue there Yeah, I don't, I don't know, there's some wonky, there's some wonkiness going on, and I honestly, okay, so let's get that going, and then all we have to do is you bring the lava over, right, it's already going through this man here, should be simple as, I did not tell you to do this, I said the Balls to you is what I said. God dang it. Mm. 
cool. Do you imagine it? I know, I know. I'm That's doing it all. Wonderful. Oh, are you making it? Wait. Uh, oh, ME systems and stuff like that? No, I'm just hooking up a technical thing at the moment. A little like smeltery boy. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Doing that thing where you guys have been using something for like a month and now I get to try and work with it. It's great. Heck yeah. We're still pretty new to it. Relatively, how big is a big toe? What? It depends on the person. Right. Huh. Okay, so I guess we eject out of... Oh, wait, you know what? I wonder if we could do a fluid import from ID straight into this thing. That would be really cool if we can. Let's... Okay, so that, and then we need the anthra something, whatever skis. So I just have to do the annoying thing where I tie in. I'm going to need probably more of the monodirectionales here, if we're being honest. Let's see. And I also need to install the pillar. So that's going from the west. Very good. And then. Oh. Perfecto. Okay, and then we just need to add a shooter. And then everything should be very good. So we are going to have this be the nothing up here, and this will be down. It export the item. And then, yes, very good. Okay, that should be work and provide a nice uh, green die. Yes, okay, good. So now all we have to do is we have to make more monodirectionals, yeah? And I will do this in... Uh, we may need uh, mm, quite a bit more, quite a bit more, honestly, if I'm being honest. I bet we need to have at least that many. So the break even is like six, I think. So if we need to use six, more than six logic cables, then we're better off using that. Um, oh wait, okay, it doesn't need to have direct line of sight though, does it? So hold on, I think I can just, I think I can just do it here, right? I just do it there. And then I can do another one that's like on the other side of here. I believe the goal is to export here. We're gonna do that probably, and then that's good there. Let's see, does this thing work? Okay, that does work. Cool. And one more here. And then presumably, like, just wire cables directly the rest of the way once we are over here. So all we have to do... So I think we can just do, like... Okay, I have an idea. This is going to be kind of crazy. So we input on one side, and we export on the other filtered, and I think this might be workable. So um, it's kind of first time dealing with fluids here, but hopefully it's kind of same as same as anything else. Uh, we need very variable cards. Why is this thing busted? Why is this thing busted? I don't understand. It's not reading anything. Oh, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. Huh? There we go. 
Okay, much better. I just sometimes don't know how uh, integrated dynamic systems work or something like that. Okay, we got the variable card. How do I get a fluid into the variable card? Can I click and drag? Tell me I can like click and drag or something like that. So, fluid. Zine, how do I get a fluid into the variable card? Um, variable card logic so. controller, choose fluid, and then search it in JEI and drag it onto the square. That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe it doesn't work from favorites. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. It can't be from your favorites. Got it. Got it. I love it when they do JEI integration like that. Okay, what do you mean there may be danger importing out? Thing. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Are you saying that if I... Oh god, I also need to make an import and export. Like, just if it's directly out of the create machine, like, it'll be a problem? Is that what we're talking about? I'm importer. God, just be crafting. Show crafting. Oh my goodness. And when you say danger, like, what, what kind of... What kind of danger? are we talking about like is is it is it server crashing kinds of danger and then oh no we need a fluid fluid importer importer um fluid importer that's more like it okay Hey, look, I got the advancement, too. Right there with you. You guys, you did it. We're pretty great. Um, how's the nickel coming, Pete? Just got a variable carded for it. That's where I'm at. So hold on, uh, what Thanks is it basically, it. oh, do I, I go into a tank and then I read it, like with a fluid interface or something like that? Is that the idea? Is that how it works? Uh, which, doing what? That is unfor- wait, so, got it. Okay. That's most unfortunate. Blue dye in my melter. <laughs> I don't know how. Someone put it there. It wasn't me. It was not me, but... I suspect, I have suspicions, I just don't know how it got there. Mm. What's your suspicion? Oh, wait, 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 okay. okay I, I can no export because it's coming, there is a tank with anthro whatever. At all. And that's holding it, and then the ID system is just reading Truly. that that exists somewhere. I have no idea. So I can export like there's, directly there's into light there. Blue dye being but produced I need over a here on tank. These things. But somewhere attached to the system, uh, right? No, I have no idea. There was just three of them in there. Um, it's like, oh, Zane's like, oh, how's your thing? It doesn't going? have oh, to be it's going here. Great. It can just kind of be anywhere, things. right? I can I like, have a like, uh, fluid uh, exporter <laughs> directly uh, on the tank? Like, so hold on. If I have a fluid, let's say I have a fluid importer here, right? Would it? Would I do fluid importer? Here and then a fluid right, exporter into a tank elsewhere. Diamond is that the idea? Area, my beacon would fit into the front half. Okay, my beacon's do, in the front area, so but not the back. So I spent the entire time half flying, half falling down, forgetting I couldn't fly in the back. <laughs> and once I was done and Beautiful. I moved around, okay, it was cool. one final oh. straw too many, and I built a beacon in the back, which took me, you know, all of three minutes and would have saved me probably about forty so minutes just, of cussing. So and you just yelling, fluid interface, but. I had to make it. Oh, importer and then fluid other. interface on tank. Got it. Got it. Got it. But and can you, we just, just use you know, like a, flying, one of these? Really we just use one of these. And just you know, moving over a nudge and then just flunking down. It just ruins you. It was. I was. I was ready to end. Time to remember where you came from, Zane. 
I can't even remember. Or, oh, there's fancy pneumatic craft tanks, but let's just do one of these. All right, so we need a fluid interface. Good thing we have more of those. I feel like I just need one of each of these. Ah, but we'll just do it here. Definitely gonna have to Why not? figure out how to do. Hmm, actually do it on the other side. Fluid interface, and then fluid importer. That is filtered only to what we want it to be. And variable card import fluid. Boom. Okay, and then the moment of truth is we add this and hope it work. And then... Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh man, why did it work? Wait, it is working. It says it's. Wait, wait is it is it working? Did it just take a moment? Uh, where is it going? Oh. Mm. Well, there's liquid green dye, and it's. Going somewhere. Mm, got it. Hey, uh, Zine. So, the liquid green dye has decided to fill a tank somewhere in the system. I don't know where exactly which one, but, uh, yeah. I don't want to misplace my green dye. But it is in the system, so. <laughs> the silence is deafening. <laughs> okay. How to handle that? This, uh, was, this was a conundrum I was not anticipating today, but. I've taken off the import for now, just so that we can. So. Um, <laughs> In general, we don't import; we interface to that. Well, no, 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 no. So, so, <laughs> yeah. What I I should have done it the other way and put it into the tank, and then. But I I just it was a tight area. It was a tight area. I didn't want pipes to like overlap and inter and hit each other. And so, um, there's <laughs> there's a tank somewhere that has green dye. Um, people are saying there's a way to put a channel on, so I can fix this going forward. But yeah, just. Keeping that in mind. I think. All right, so you're no longer importing green dye into the system. Not right? at the moment, no. Okay. This is uh. 15. Okay, got it. And then. Now, I sh it should be good now, because I just set a channel. Uh, so, I yes, it is good. Of... So, future die is going to the right place. But, um, yeah, there's just, there is some, some thing somewhere that has some, uh, yeah. You know what? That's, that's great for it. <laughs> it may not matter, you know? Was it, is it, what is it again? It's the... Liquid green dye, which is what liquid. you were going for yeah, for your yeah, yeah. Uh, saw, solder mask. Found the Almost. liquid green dye. Oh, where is it? It is in front of me. <laughs> I was like, hey, my molten nickel isn't pouring. Oh, <laughs> the tank's filled. Let... I'm about to lose my... Everything. Um, <laughs> it's gonna lose it. Not at you guys, don't worry. I, oh, I okay. literally Wait, is Pete, letting me move. 
Found it. Oh, nice. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. You can break that, hey, and it's fine. Yeah, don't Light play with it. Light die was not my fault. This might be. What? I'm taking, I'm solving the problem. It should be gone, right? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. I thought you were guys going to start breaking stuff, and I'm like, no, I've got a solution. I'm just watching things import and export from my <laughs> system, and it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, in general, none of the fluids should be importing. Well, no, they can, because you can set a channel, which is what I did. So, channel 15 is liquid green dye. Don't use that for any other stuff. Um, when it comes to importing into the system, liquids, and you should be good. Perfect. It is pretty perfect. Evaluation scene. Wait, 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 don't say anything. I'm not done. Hold on. I forgot. Dang it. Hold on. Uh, one sec. Can you multi up on the resonant upgrades? I remember. Uh, no. There we go. You use the uh, what are they called? Um, the flux linkage amplifiers as a secondary. Okay. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um, your molten nickel isn't molten nickeling. It's like the one thing it's supposed to do. Are seared faucets redstone sensitive? Yes. Oh, That's me placing the probably there's... turned it off. It should should stay on now and automatically go. Um, that's why those redstone blocks are there. It's just to keep the faucet running. <sighs> I gotta get a bucket that for the achievement. Uh, the only other Should thing I would say flux is uh, knock the text for operation down a little bit. Are we good? Are we good, oh, on, that, are we good uh, on the efficiency? Right. We're good on the efficiency. I could do another flux linky boy. Each of the interfaces, like, all three of them. So, change to like 10 or something like you said. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just grab a number and usually I try and make it a prime number for reasons I'm not entirely sure in my, my own number. head, then 11 is great. That makes it have 11 times less impact on the system. And that seems good. Zine, why do prime numbers make internet security good? I am not a cryptographic expert. I don't want to speak to things I'm not positive about. Hmm, okay. You know, I've, I've, I've been at my prime a few times, you know, age two. Three. I think prime oh, and, and numbers increase the internet. Well, prime increases the internet financial security of streamers. <laughs> Prime's really good. So what, the the change that they made to where prime is now like a flat revenue thing for uh, countries is that a benefit? No, uh, it's no, a reduction. No, that's a that's a oh, that's okay. a pay reduction. I mean, they yeah. they fixed a lot of they 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 put a lot of other good with it, but that one is the that again the knockdown. The only thing I I genuinely believe the only thing we're gonna see is Prime more and more devalued. I, um, I so it's two it's two twenty five now flat rate the highest that's the highest tier it goes in U S and Canada, uh, all the way down to Great. nine cents per Prime sub if they are from Turkey. Yeah, turkey viewers better run real <laughs> fast. <laughs> um, okay, I'm annoyed with that. So you said that your what, what channel has liquid 15. green dye on it? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, so do I need to set a channel number for my molten nickel? No, you re you really don't. Did I choose uh, a, a channel you were using for another liquid? No, I'm not using channels. So oh, okay. It, I, but I I have 
What I did with the liquid green dye is I set up a tank here and then I exported to it so that I basically was like pulled out of from wherever it is in the system and just put in this tank. So I yeah. Know where it is. So now I'm going to try and import that back into channel 15 to see if I can put it onto your stuff. It should. I mean, here's the thing. You can export it wherever you want and it'll draw from this tank. Um, and so you, where, wherever you want your assembly line at with that liquid green dye, just, just pull channel 15. So my recommendation, like, just have uh, an integrated dynamics fluid exports into your um, spouts. That's, you know, channel 15-ing. Where is your PCB setup going to be? Uh, I that's what's um right over here. Is I don't okay. I, I I was just looking at the ponders of how to actually set it up, so I don't have any sort of design or anything for it at the moment. Um, Got it. I'm just trying to figure out what the piece like. I was laying down the pieces to be like, okay, these are what I'm going to need, and now I need to figure out how to arrange them. Whoa, etching acid. It says you may be okay refilling manually. That's a first. That's crazy. Do you need me to you want me to make some etching acid, man? If you want to put at etching acid production, absolutely. Do you wait, have you made a uh air chamber? No. Oh, okay. I've made some air chambers in my day. They call me air jardon. Okay, did you want to take that over and put that up? I mean, I'll, I'll, yeah, I can, I can try working on that. TDLMC, thank you for raid. Hello, and if anybody has joined. Um, ye. All right, so what we're gonna do. Would we have enough energy stored in the system for me to be able to set up a fluid encapsulator? Pneumatic craft. Where are the yeah, blocks? I always forget what they're actually called. What are we have one million FE in that system. Right oh now, yeah, yeah. pressure chamber, pressure uh, chamber. Here we go. Interesting that you can actually because you export that from the system, you can actually control how fast it exports oh, easy. Uh, with the tick rate that you set. That's nice. Okay. So and I uh, also, here? I mean, this is be out of, out of scope but what i ended up doing is because i had the um what are you doing? i had the energy outputting because the energy produces right here and it just goes into this battery and uh then i have what the energy interface onto it so that just interfaces with the battery and puts ah, it the right stop and being broken stop being broken by this fido right here uh but because it's in integrated dynamics, you can add logic. So when Why I, is so what I end up doing is I put a uh, item reader on this drawer that gets me the count of how many we have. And for the energy export, I actually have it only turn on when it's below, uh, when it's not full. So when that oh, gets full, cool. it actually turns the power off on the machine automatically. Just kind of oh, that's sweet. So again, we have well a lot of scope of what's needed, but. That was neat to be able to set up and, and preserve energy and make it kind of work. Not only that, but uh, I we had a problem earlier where the, there was a bajillion of the die in the system because it had just kept running and running and running and making more and making more. And I was like, I don't really need that much, so please stop. <laughs> please, please stop. I do need the pneumatic no wrench, yeah, bro. Yeah, the encapsulator shouldn't take a whole lot. Um, in general, it's nice to add the resonant to uh, these at the very least. Right. Okay, so we have the valve, we have the interface, we have the walls. I think we probably only need to do the 3x3 three three with the one block opening into it. We do need... Uh, do you already have pressure being generated that I can siphon off? Not anywhere easy. Like, I would just, just set up new uh, power things. 
Well, I mean, if it's over at your system over here, like we can just bring it into ID, right? I don't think you can ID pressure. No, 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 no. Like I can just hook. I don't even think we need to ID. I'm just bringing the uh, building the pressure chamber so I can make the etching acid, which is said you can do manually. So I'm just looking to hook up to some existing, like already oh, set up uh, pressure tubes. There, there is pressure over in various levels. Um, I don't know how, like, they're pretty, they don't have a lot of access, but you can give them a shot and see if they'll, they'll have enough. Okay. Um, they, there's not a ton of spare, I would say. Say that there was a... I mean, I guess I can just make new generators if you would prefer that I do not... Tap into a limited I, supply. You can you can tap into uh, whatever. I'm just saying it might not be enough to work. If it is enough work, great. Gotcha. Oh, we can make an advanced air compressor with the plastic machine. That's so cool. I actually have one in my inventory if you want it. I'm an advanced one? ID system. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Roy. Cool. Right, it's in the network. Good. And then I will add in my reinforced pressure tubes as well. We have biodiesel. Oh, can the air compressor run off biodiesel? Yes. Oh, that is some fancy spancy. Although okay. that would be the liquid, not the air. What? The liquid compressor, not the air compressor. Oh, got it. Wait, so the liquid compressor, the only difference is what it runs off of? Yeah, yeah. One, okay. use, one uses burnable fuels, the other uses li burnable liquids. Oh, all right, I'm down. I'll make a new one. And slowly but surely, my backpack is going to turn into uh, Pneumatocraft. Wow, better than coal. Kind of slandering coal, though. Okay, so this is cool. So all we need to do now is we can simply export biodiesel into there. It'll power it. We have biodiesel in the system. And we can use that along with some uh, pipes. And we also need a safety valve. Um, air, what is it? There we go. Uh, oh, we might need rein. Do we need reinforced pressure tubes? No, we can probably just go there. We do need a safety valve ski. Oh dear, okay, boom. How's it going, Pete? I'm going down a rabbit hole. Oh, what? Uh, okay, so, oh, let me see. I'm trying to think of how to get glowstone dust to be infinite. Mm -hmm. A way that I'm looking at is... We have uh, glowstone inf dust infinite. Zine telling me that that's already done, sweet. <laughs> It's good, right? Where's the glowstone? Where's the infinite glowstone happening at? Hang on, I'm falling down it, uh, 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 into a pit of despair. Hang on, I try to get out. Okay, um, uh, it's two levels up from you, uh, or three. What is it that? Because I'm not storing it per se, but it is producing right here. Um, How's it what producing? Is it? What's the operation? Okay, come up here. One more. <laughs> okay. So we take the we, we take flint over here, we powder it or, or pulverize it, right? And that gives us gunpowder or powder. Oh, gunpowder, okay. okay. And yeah. then we add fluid, we create gunpowder, and then we put it through the this burning chamber here, which for some reason I don't you know, magical That's the magic. Stand. 
Yep, turns it into. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yep. That's how. It's right there. Right on. Okay. Yeah. I was just and looking then, at a uh, chromatic waste. So chrom chromatic waste. Do we need it for something? Uh, it looks like it's out requested in the chapter. But why? Chromatic waste into centrifuge off of degrees? I don't know, but there's a chromatic waste bucket. Oh, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at the uh, direction of the arrows. That comes after the impurities in the process. Okay, so, so yeah, because like... A byproduct of the production? Yeah, chromatic waste I literally just throw away. So I was like, I mean, I, I do... I, I drain that to nothingness right here. <laughs> well, it's important for a checkbox, I guess. Uh, that's my fault. I'd, I I just saw that, like, the nickel, the molten nickel, was off to the side, so that was a requirement. So my brain was like, oh, this is also off to the side. It must be a requirement, but no, it's the, the opposite one. All in all, I'm glad that we have infinite glowstone. That's really cool. Yep, it's available. Uh, if you are, ne are, are you, were you needing the glowstone, or were you was that no? It was just waste? for gunpowder to get the the whole thing, chromatic waste, which would have been okay. very silly. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know. It's no big deal there. Well, um, no, but I mean, it, yeah. But yeah, we. Uh, we get chromatic waste and then we toss it aside like used garbage. That's not very nice to the chromatic waste. It's waste. What can you do? You do the same thing with your waste. Unless you keep it, which is weird. <laughs> no, I, I don't actually. I don't have a poo bucket. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just saying. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it, actually. What, you got like a tree in your backyard or something? What? What do you do if you don't have a poo bucket? Uh, let it go to the sewer, presumably. Bougie are we today, okay. <laughs> God, imagine having a sewer system, man. Couldn't be me. What a luxury. This guy over here. You ever think about, like, really tall apartment buildings? Nope. I do it's actually. I do think about it. Has yeah. To go up there. Well, I mean, getting the water up is the harder part, right? Like getting the the sewer sure. down, not so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you pump the water up to the big tanky poo and let it gravity to all the all the houses, um, or all the apartments. But also, it's just like there's so m there's so many poo pipes all interconnected, and like one messes up, and then it messes everything up. Or also, you know, if you have a pressurized line water supply line in the in the high rise that goes and then floods everybody's apartments god and then i i like dude it scares me so much when places have pools on high floors rooftops oh, yeah, things like that nuts. it's like what do you this has this is such a recipe for disaster oh my god i saw someone who the i don't know whether it was by design or not but they were showing a uh, uh a hanging bathtub and it was like they're like look at how cool this is and it was like it was all it was the bathtub was like almost a hammock shape it was like kind of you know like bottom of a banana shape and you're supposed to get it and it would drain at the bottom and stuff like that but it was anchored to the ceiling with two bolts like one on each end and i'm like you know how much weight that it, that like that thing of water is going to be on one joist like i really hope that the the it, like holy crap you know just the the structural requirements alone are insane for that yeah that's that's a little nerve-wracking jeez yeah, Did, was, and so I, there was no demonstration of this actually working it was it was demonstrated that like them kind of like showing filling it and then draining it so i mean it was huh. fully plumbed and it was just like this is Guys, we can't keep the water in here for longer than five minutes get the footage <laughs> and we have to get this water out of here seriously like it's nuts um i've been i, I for reasons i'm not entirely sure of myself i have uh been following more and more the plumbing subreddit 
because there's just it, all it is is just pictures of people's plumbing and then plumbers <laughs> talking about how terrible each of it is. I, I'm convinced that there's never been a good install in the world because everything is just picture of someone's under the sink that looks like another one under the sink and then someone stops and they're like, oh, I can't believe they use these plex pressure plate, these shark bites, and then. You know, you're, you're supposed to have a, a two forty fives and a YSE here, and I'm like, I don't know what these words are, but plumbing is way more intense than I ever would have guessed. And they're like, Oh, you created an S trap, and and then God forbid if anyone ever uses any of those crappy accordion flex tube things, because then it's just roastville. Uh, <laughs> but regardless, it really has given me an absolute like further appreciation for just how involved plumbing is, because I mean. I don't, you know, it's not just water go down. Like it, there's, a, yeah. there's a lot going on with, it's all with for the, sure. a, a, a whole thing. And, you know, the back siphoning and the venting and everything. And I'm just like, the water go down a hole work good if problem call plumber. So I bet, I bet a lot of people do not know that the little little chimney pipes happening on the top of roofs are not little chimney pipes there for letting air in. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the vent. That's what? The vent. So it's so <laughs> do we? <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> it's, I'm listening. It's so that they can vent to uh, keep it from having back pressure. Like it's, uh, it, otherwise, you would slowly your drain would be slower even closer. Have you? I have you ever had a situation where like you saw that the water in your toilet was like no longer there, and you're like, what's going on? Like you might have a clogged vent on your roof. Because so oh, when you roof? flush, yeah, when you flush your toilet. Right? It otherwise, or sorry, like if you flushed anything else in your house, the water has to go to, like, imagine a full seal of water going down a pipe that has to have be replaced with air. It's going to create a vacuum. And it's so it has to pull, pull that air down. from somewhere. So you don't want it pulling from the, from the other house. vents in your house. So they put it on the roof, usually. There's, more it's more a it's a whole about plumbing. The more and more it has to do with my roof. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a whole thing. I had in my kitchen, the plumber had to go on top of my roof to fix it. Right. He, that yeah, that might be yeah. why. I, I, I guess. anyway, all I'm saying is is respect the trades, man. The the I like trades got a bad rap for way too long for something that a is absolutely critical to all, everything we do and all the niceties we have in life, and b. It takes a whole lot more than, you know, ah, oh, you got to go to college or you're going to end up being a ditch digger. Do you know how it's, what's involved and in the, the engineering that goes into those? Like, hey, holy crap. People who are running around like plumbing companies and stuff, they, they're I know. making good money. Oh, they're, they're, and they they're deserve good. it. Like, you know, but yeah, it's the, the subreddit is like everybody who's, you know, I had my brother-in-law come and do this under the sink. Does this look okay? And then it's just like, oh, buddy, buckle down. Like, this is... <laughs> <laughs> that you've got three pipes here and a list of 47 code violations you know like it's just <laughs> it's just crazy but uh, at any rate code violations water um, will we, ruin your life if it's not handled properly respect your plumbers God bless tip, nature. tip your waitresses um all right well are we about at a stopping point I'm just wanting to, to where where is my etching not happening? Oh, it's a bucket of molten plastic balls. I thought it was just a bucket. <laughs> Made a terrible mistake. Yeah, I've oh, got to yeah, do. You were going that, yeah, I saw that. I was like, that's difficult. I've got to generate down the plastic thing, and I I I'm just walk around in circles right now, not doing anything. So you know, here we are. Chesty, my favorite kind. Okay, that was a po that was a poopy pants situation that I just did right there. Oopsie daisies. Um, do we happen to have any like molten plastic anywhere? We do. Let's see. It's in Let the one chunk it's factory. In the oh, it's in the <laughs> fluid thing. There we go. I was going to say, I should have made it available. If not, I'm sorry. Um, You're all good. I'm just going to make myself a little uh, tank and have it export into it so I can grab it with a bucket. Laser. Try to 
drill somewhere, right? No. Okay. Drill. I also don't know why I flew over there, and I have all that in my inventory and stuff. That's the way to assign what chest it imports to and exports from, and I can't remember how to do that. Okay, so fluid exporter, I guess I can just, I don't know, the zine's going to be like, why have you put all this crap, like, next to my thing? And I'll be like, eh, just because, wait, actually, here, do it above the, do it above the thing. Do it like right. It's the worst. It's the worst, but whatever. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do a little export of uh, some molten plastique. And there we go. Beautiful. Oh, they don't stack. That's most unfortunate. Huh? And then boom, boom, boom. Okay. That, I think, should work, maybe. Unless it only does one bucket at a time, and it's gonna... No. Okay. It should go. It should It should eventually... These buckets don't stack. That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's just gonna take a long freaking time. But anyway... Um, all right, well, I think I have etching acid that is in progress. Uh, just gonna take a moment to, to do, but... Mm -hmm. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's another Look at us, going supplying on. the liquid. Yep, yep. It's our day. It's our day. Yeah, today's been Let the liquid a lot flow. of a lot of liquid has been flowing on this day. It's pretty cool. Actually, it's been hot because it's molten. In many cases, I don't ever want to hear that again. What? That liquid's been flowing on this day. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you're staying hydrated. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're crafting. Always, always staying area. hydrated. Did you guys drink a lot of water when you were in school? Because, like, about as much as necessary. God no. Oh God no. Because it, it just, I I never had a water bottle. I never knew anybody who had a water bottle. Like, nope. I would maybe hit up a water fountain once during the school day, but I wasn't thirsty all the time. It was kind of just, I don't know. It just it just wasn't a big deal. And somehow yeah, I survived, no, I but now I'm like, how would I go that long without having water? And people these days are very conscious and have the big water bottles and stuff. You've been seeing all those posts about the Stanleys and the lead and everything got you thinking about water bottles? I have not seen posts about Stanley and the lead, just the Stanley, which I initially thought, and I think I've said it before, was something to do with the NHL, and I was wondering why it was a That's big thing too. all of a sudden. <laughs> well, oh god, I'm just, this is not my target audience. Yeah. I'm not the target audience for this. Yeah, no, I was uh, probably severely dehydrated as a kid. I just didn't know, because I was a kid. You know, yeah. I I didn't realize, like, oh, yeah, rushing out of class, you know, when recess would happen to go to the water fountain to get a drink of water, probably meant I wasn't drinking enough water. <laughs> I also think I was given Dasani as a kid, so. Is that a, I mean, it is water. I mean, we're talking hydration, though. We're talking what? Hydration, though. I mean, I guess water, but like. Water, Sonny. Water. I'm con I mean, it, I don't. I don't understand. I Are get that it's. I get Sonny? that it's a Coke product, but like, I don't. It's still water. Well, it's salted water. It's devil water. Huh? It de it almost dehydrates you with its ingredients. It doesn't actually, like, what? hydrate you in the way that water should. Oh my uh, balls! I'm I'm amazing. I'm not sure I'm I'm not sure I'm buying into this conspiracy theory. Most bottled water has like little mineral additives to try to give it some actual flavor, but yeah. You know what? I thought it was like an overreaction too, but I'll never forget when COVID happened. I think it was like the day that the NBA shutdown got announced. Right? I remember everybody going to the local grocery stores and just freaking out, like I gotta buy everything. 
And when I went there, I went uh -huh. to like the aisle where they had just nothing but bottled water. And you know, there's a generous amount there, right? Uh -huh. And every single water was sold out. The, you know, two gallon jugs, the 12 packs, whatever, uh -huh. except the Sony. All of it was still stocked, but everything else was entirely gone. I was like, wow, even in like a pandemic, no one wants that crap. It, that was huh. jarring to look at. I'm like, wow, this is not just an internet thing. Nobody wants to drink this stuff. I mean, I just in general, uh, I used to buy, you know, the cheapest possible bottled water at stores. And then and then I started being a nicer person and not having plastic waste and just doing it out of the tap. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, tap in LA will that'll harden you up. Harden you up? Wait, what? Tap water in LA is like perfectly acceptable. What do you mean harden you up? It's better, right? It's what was that? Better, right? It's gotten better, right? Like it used to be pretty bad, but it's uh, better now. I don't know. I've I've I, bad water is very relative. Like it might have tasted bad, but perfectly drinkable at certain points, but. Like I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've never. My mom grew up here, and she, I think, always drank tap water, and was never like, "Oh man, it's just like, ew. maybe she's just used to it." And I'm used to it. I don't know. God, my my insides are just hardened from this trying experience. This is what I've frequently th thought. So, anything else that we're uh, waiting on doing? I think we're there. Okay. I don't. I don't know how to. Make I just figured I'd make you a little bit more etching acid, so we'd be at uh, six sixteen or so. Sixteen buckets. Very nice. Perfect. Excellent. Um. So, all right. How how is your stuff come together, Pete? Good. Good. Got everything, everything all squared away? Yep, squared away. Nice, nice. Um, Pete, you want to well, do the outro? You need to give me at least like a, an hour heads up for that one. <laughs> Sunday, I got you. <laughs> okay, Sunday. This out. You heard it here first, everybody. Sunday's Flash. a Pete outro. Oh, oh. Um, at any rate, we want to thank our sponsor for this series. Uh, providing the server we've been playing on, uh, Apex Hosting. If you would like to play Minecraft with your friends, whether modded, uh, Adventure Mask, Vanilla, however it is, multiplayer, or even check out uh, the new Power World offerings, it, uh, which is all the rage as well, please check the link in our description so you can save 25% off on your first month. You'll help support us, and we appreciate that, so thank you. Uh, and thank you to them for sponsoring. We do create these live. You can see this happens. Twitch.tv slash pizza. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. And uh, Twitch.tv slash Shane. Throw some follows and uh, see all the extra content that comes along the way. And then finally, if uh, you have enjoyed them, please hit the like button. Leave a comment letting us know what it is you enjoyed. And uh, we, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing, uh, turning on notifications, telling a friend, whatever it is. Um, anything for you guys before we go? No, I think we're pretty good. Alrighty. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye. Farewell. Later.